Today on Dr. Zoon, you'll build an egg drop vehicle. Dr. Zoon will show you various materials that you can use to build your vehicle. He'll also construct an egg drop vehicle and test it on the Pitsco drop zone. Hello, Dr. Zoon here. Today we're going to have an extraordinary activity. We're going to be making egg drop vehicles. I plan on having a good time and I hope you do too. There are many different egg drop competitions that are done around the country. You're going to have to talk with your instructor to find out what the rules and regulations are for your particular one. But all these egg drop competitions have one thing in common. They are to protect an egg from a fall. Now you may be dropping it from 7 feet or 10 feet or maybe even 50 feet and you may have different sizes, different shapes, different materials that you'll be able to use and again you'll have to get with your instructor to find out what those are. When we think about materials that would help protect an egg we think about things that are soft and fluffy and many of these types of materials you can find around the house. For instance, you may have some bubble wrap available. Bubble wrap has little air bubbles in it, which would help cushion the egg during the fall. Or you might use some shelf paper. It's actually not paper, but it's plastic, and it's just kind of soft and gushy, and you might be able to use it in some fashion. Another good item might be tissue paper, which you could crumple up around the egg to provide cushioning for the fall. You could use material that they use in pillows, such as this stuffing or polyfill, to put around the egg. Or you could even use something as simple as a grocer's plastic bag. You may find materials around your house that you can use for your egg drop vehicle. Your instructor may have materials as well in their classroom. Some of the things that you might consider using would be rubber bands, balloons, straws, skill sticks, string, balsa planks, balsa strips, and just about anything else that you can think of. Again, be sure that you consult your instructor to make sure the materials you're using are okay. Along with the materials, you're going to need some tools and some adhesives to put your egg drop vehicle together. Among these, they might include cellophane tape, the Pitsco timber cutter, a ruler, scissors, a sharp knife, Pitsco HD bond adhesive, Instacure glue, or Kumelt glue and a glue gun. A good resource for the egg drop activity will be the drop zone book. It has lots of ideas for different experiments to do with the drop zone as well as with the egg drop vehicles. Of course there's one more thing that we need for the egg drop vehicle and that's the egg. There's nothing extra special about these eggs but the ones that you'll be using will probably be grade A large eggs. While you're making your egg drop vehicle, I recommend that you use hard boiled eggs, although your instructor will be using raw eggs for the contest. Your egg drop vehicle could be as simple as a box filled with polyfill, or it could be a little more complex like these skill sticks, rubber bands, and balloons are all tied together to make a egg drop vehicle. Or you could even have a vehicle that would have a parachute that would deploy on its way down. It's really just up to you. I'm going to show you how to make a simple vehicle, but then I want you to be creative and make a vehicle of your very own out of your imagination. For the main body of our egg drop vehicle today, we're going to use eight pieces of balsa that have been cut to the same length and width as well as four balsa sticks 
that have been cut to the same length, and I've marked in one fourth of an inch from each end with a pencil so you can see where to align the pieces. We'll begin by gluing one of our 1 8 inch strips to the end of one of our 1 16 inch planks. We'll align the mark on the strip with the edge of the plank and then we'll make sure that the stick remains flush with the end of the plank. We'll go ahead and run a bead of cool melt glue along the end and press the stick into it, making sure that we have the mark lined up with the edge. We'll repeat the process using another 1 16 inch plank and gluing it to the other end of the stick at this point, making sure the bottom of this edge is aligned with the mark on the stick. Next, we're going to glue another eighth inch stick onto the other side of this structure. So we'll add glue to the end of both balls of planks. And then we'll place the stick into the glue, aligning the quarter inch marks with the edges of the planks. I've made an identical structure to the one we just built, so that now we have two structures just like this to build on. With one of these structures, we're going to add a vertical piece, which is going to be one of our 1 16 inch planks. We'll add glue to the bottom edge of this, and then we'll place it in position on the side of the structure we just built like that. We'll repeat this process, adding a vertical member at each of the three places along this bottom structure. Our structure should now look like this with four vertical members attached to it, and we're going to add just a small bead of glue at each joint to further strengthen it. Once the glue is dried, we'll invert the structure and put it on top of our other flat structure, and then we're going to glue at each one of these joints so that we complete the structure. Let's go ahead and add a bead of glue on these two bottom planks. and then press them into position. And then we can add a bead of glue to each joint, again, to further strengthen them. We'll repeat the process on the ends of the boards on the opposite side, adding a bead of glue to the board and then pressing it into place. We've now completed the main structure. This structure will take the brunt of the fall as it comes down and hits the ground. It really won't matter what position it falls in, it will provide general protection for the egg inside. Now the problem is, how do we attach the egg? There's a variety of ways that you can attach your egg to your egg drop vehicle. I'm going to provide you with a few ideas and then I want you to come up with some on your own as well. For instance, we could have a setup like this one where we have balloons and rubber bands holding the egg to the egg drop vehicle. To do this, we'll take some balloons, large balloons like these, place an egg in the cavity of the balloon, and this end of the balloon will give us one place to tie some of our rubber bands to. We'll place a second balloon going in the opposite direction around the top of the egg, 
which gives us again another tie in the opposite direction. We'll do a third balloon going in yet another direction at 90 degrees to the other two. And then we can do a fourth balloon on the bottom. And so now we have four balloons going in four directions that we can tie rubber bands to. We can either cellophane tape these balloons together around the egg, or we can take rubber bands and place around the four balloons to hold them in place. If you use rubber bands, be sure and use enough that your egg does not slip out of the balloons. Another possibility is to have a slight oriental flavor to where we have an egg roll or an egg rolled into the shelf paper like this. Then we can tie off the shelf paper and tie it to our egg drop vehicle. In a similar fashion, we could use bubble wrap to wrap around the egg and then cut it off at this point, tie it, and then tie these two ends to our egg drop vehicle. Yet another possibility is to use some engineering that the egg companies have done in creating their egg cartons and use part of the carton as a vehicle for your egg. You may want to use the whole portion of the carton or just one compartment. That's up to you. For our egg drop vehicle today, we're going to be using rubber bands to make an egg harness. We'll use a small rubber band around this wide one and we'll loop it around and through to tie it on securely, like that. We'll repeat the process with three other rubber bands so that we have four rubber bands coming out in four different directions from the wide rubber band. And now we have an egg harness, like this. If I can get the egg to stand still for it, I'm going to apply this egg harness to this egg. We have to be careful with this, especially when using raw eggs, because if we have a weak egg, we'll break it in this process. We'll need to make sure that all the rubber bands are free and coming out in opposite directions. And we'll want to make sure that the big wide rubber band is around the largest circumference of the egg. We'll place the other rubber band harness in the opposite direction around the egg, like this. With our egg looking sort of like a space alien, we're going to place three more wide rubber bands around the egg carefully to help hold the two egg harnesses in place. We'll need to make sure with each one that the small rubber bands are free to be attached to the egg drop vehicle. We're ready to attach the egg to the egg drop vehicle. We're going to place one of the rubber bands around one of the free posts, and we'll pick an, a rubber band opposite the rubber band we just used, and we'll place it around the post opposite the post we just used. So we'll very carefully string this down and through and around this bottom post. We'll repeat the process, taking rubber bands from the egg and carefully stretching the rubber bands to the opposite corners in each case. Our egg drop vehicle is completed now, and this egg is suspended within the middle of it. We can shake it, making scrambled eggs possibly, and it goes in all different directions. No matter which way this drops, it should support the egg without crushing it. Let's test it and see how it works. 
For testing, we're going to be using the drop zone, which will allow us to time how long it takes the egg drop vehicle to drop from the height till it hits this plate. We'll have a timer going, which will be set off by this spring clip, which opens when we drop the vehicle. We're ready to try our vehicle. It may or may not succeed, but I guarantee you, it's gonna be fun. Here's the countdown. Three, two, one, there she goes. The egg survived. Well, I have had a good time with this egg drop vehicle, and I hope that you do too. I hope that it's not too exasperating. Until next time, see you real soon.